It wouldn't be a proper day of working on the bus if we didn't have to come to the hardware store. Okay, we got it back up. Hey guys, we are going to be working on putting that uh, strip back on today. It is extremely long. It is, I don't know, 35 feet. So I don't know how this is going to go, but hopefully good. All right, we're just putting a bead of caulking just because why not? It's not going to hurt anything to put it on there. This is sagging. This is sagging. You. <laughs> what? It just looks like it goes You're like this. You're being a control freak. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to hold it up? So the dilemma with this is that we took all the screws out that originally held that up and now we don't know where they are. So I have this bucket of screws here and we're kind of seeing if any of these work. Hopefully. Those are all pretty rusty, so we're gonna have to go to the store later and try and find the right size and put brand new ones in, just because we don't want to put rusty pieces of, shit in <laughs> rusty pieces of crap back in the bus. I think we have enough rust to deal with. We don't need the screws to be rusty. Just well. another trip to Lowe's to get screws. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hey, dumbass, did you bring those screws? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you have one. How many cracks? Three. Yeah. Ready, set, go! Go, 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 go! Run, 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 run. Go, go, run, go! Run! Oh! Heading into Home Depot because Lowe's didn't have the right stuff. 
Uh, it's so annoying when you go to a store to buy your supplies and they don't have them. So luckily our Home Depot and Lowe's are right next to each other. So we just came up here. I always pick Home Depot over Lowe's. Let me tell you, I just like them better. You okay, Baba? But I don't know. Hopefully they have the drill bits that we need because we go through this so frequently. These are the drill bits that we've been using. So we're gonna grab those, even though the screws are gonna be bigger, and we're still gonna get those ones. It wouldn't be a proper day of working on the bus if we didn't have to come to the hardware store. Ugh. What are you planning on messing up? Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna finish putting this. Oh, for <laughs> sake. It doesn't fit. <laughs> it's not the way you need to. Jeez. <laughs> we're gonna finish putting this in if we have the stuff. <laughs> Back up because we still have to put metal up because we're getting rid of these doors, but back up. So we ran out of some of the sealant. We ran out of some of the screws again. So we're just calling it for today with trying to do anything for the bus. And quite honestly, um, it's kind of rainy and dreary out. So we just have been like lacking in motivation a little bit when it comes to working on the bus. And I think it's because we've pushed so hard and um, really I feel like with working full time and doing the bus, we did a lot with the roof raise and cleaning it out and all that stuff right away. So I feel like now we're kind of like taking a breath and hopefully we can just like jump right back into it here shortly. I haven't talked to you guys in a while and sat down and kind of went over a few things that we have learned, I'm going to say that there's pretty much five mistakes that we've made so far and we're going to go through those and I think it'll be helpful if you're looking to either buy a bus or start a bus conversion. These five things will be very helpful for you. The first thing that I think um, we made a mistake on was rushing into buying a bus and though we love our bus and we think it's um, a great fit for us, Yesterday we were talking and we've seen some people buy buses that have way less rust than what ours. And I think if we would have just been a little bit more patient and waited, we probably could have got something that's in a little bit better shape. Um, though a lot of people that we've talked to that have buses with less rust seem to have more miles on it. So it's like, what's the trade-off? You know what I mean? Like, would we rather have a bus that has more miles and then less rust? Or I don't, we don't know the right answer, but that's just something we kind of think about often. Like we were too excited and we kind of jumped the gun and bought this bus when we should have waited and been a little bit more picky. Honestly, <laughs> The whole um, being patient thing kind of goes throughout all of our mistakes, I want to say. I was just thinking about it and I'm like, wait, if we would have been a little bit more patient, we wouldn't have that mistake, we wouldn't have that mistake. So I think that is like the one thing I wish we could just like not be so excited. <laughs> I feel like we just get too excited and start moving and doing things. But the second mistake is wiring. I think we got way too ahead of ourselves when we were doing our wiring. Um, and we just started like cutting wires from the back, from the front, where just both of us were just like going back and forth. And it turned into a mess pretty much. You guys saw that. If you haven't, I'll put the video up in the card here. But we were just taking way too much time trying to figure out and backtrack and try and getting the bus running again. If we would have just slowed down, once again, <laughs> slowed down, uh, we would not have 
ran, ran into that issue. So, um, yeah, wiring was a big one for us. Our third mistake is making mistake cuts. <clears throat> this only happened once where it made like a significant difference. As you can see, I cut it a little too short, so it ain't gonna line up. So then he had to kind of like manipulate other, other stuff to get it up there. You're never gonna notice it from the outside or from the inside because there's gonna be a ceiling up, but still it's, it's a mistake that's made. Just cut it, I cut it a little short. I don't know why, should I just cut it way too long? Our fourth mistake is our type of tarp that we used. It's hard, okay? So we have a 40 foot bus and we just use the plastic that you get in the rolls when you're gonna use for painting. It worked fine, but it was a pain to get up. Um, I can't even describe to you how we did it because it was so insane. We would tie rocks into the plastic and then we had this stick. I think I still have it, let me grab it. Okay, we had this stick and we were like, this is a lifesaver, like this is going into the bus. And we would tie baling twine around this and then we would chuck it up and over the bus, so the other person would be on the other side and we would pull the plastic up on both sides until it met in the top and it was just, it was a pain. But I don't know, like buying a tarp that would cover the whole thing, you're honestly still gonna have to do the exact same thing. Like I don't, I don't know really a better way to do it, but the plastic just kept ripping and it, it was, it was a pain. I feel like a tarp, at least it's not gonna rip. It's gonna be a little bit more durable. Um, and then you have the loops there. You wouldn't have to tie the rocks and throw them over. So that's a mistake that we made. Would I change it? Probably not because it's such a temporary thing, but it still was very time consuming. It would take us like an hour and a half to cover our bus up. And I feel like a tarp, you could probably do it in 20 minutes. Maybe I'm wrong, but you probably wouldn't have to throw a stick over. Our last mistake, and this is still happening to this day, and I wish we would have been a little bit better with it, but our last mistake is being unorganized. And I think not only does this go for when you're building a bus, but like literally everything. We, for example, like today, we started working, we thought we went to the store, got enough screws, got everything we needed so we could put the black things back up and realize that we never got caulking. So it's just, those little things are so time consuming. They make a job last so much longer than what it needs to. And my goal is starting this week, we're gonna come up with a project and we're gonna say, okay, this is our project for the week. I'm gonna write it down, write all the materials we need, make sure it's bought by Wednesday. So then the rest of the week we can focus on getting it done and then making great content for you guys because I feel like I wanna show you guys all of these building pieces, but we are just unorganized. So what happens is like today, like we started putting those up and then we forgot we needed more stuff. It, it's just very frustrating. So going forward, I plan on just making a list, making sure we have everything on the list, we're ready to go. We're not missing anything. I'm gonna start trying to do more research beforehand when we start our projects, because honestly, we're the type of people that just do it and figure it out as we go. I don't know if that's good or bad, but Andrew is experienced enough to understand like what tools he needs and how to manipulate the material, if that's metal, wood, whatever it is. Those are our five mistakes that we've made so far. I'm sure there's gonna be many more to come, but really, if you guys are starting a bus, conversion if you're in the middle I would highly suggest not doing those five things because it's going to save you a lot of time and quite honestly now that I've talked to you guys about it that is the one thing that's so frustrating is we only have a limited amount of time to actually work on the bus like when Colton's napping or we have a day off and by being unorganized and working too fast um, it really just slows us down in the end. Yeah, we think like, okay, we're just gonna jump out and start doing this and then we have to do it all over again because it was wrong. So, I don't know. I just wanted to tell you guys those things. I think it would be so helpful and I know there's probably a thousand other videos out there of people telling you things not to do, but I hope this is helpful. I hope you got something out of it. 
If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Please leave us comments, any questions. We'd love to hear from you guys. If you want to see something, let us know that also. And I want to thank you guys so much for taking the time to hang out with us. And we will see you next week. And I promise you, we're going to have some project complete. <laughs> I don't know what it is yet, but we're going to do one full project in one video. Thanks, guys.